Hey everybody, so I just wanted to jump on here and leave my review for Creed 3. Now, I gotta be honest right up front, I've never seen any of the Rocky movies. This is the ninth film in the Rocky universe, but I've never seen any of the Rocky films. Rockies 1 through 5 and Rocky Balboa, haven't seen. But Creed 1 through 3, I've watched all of them. So what's wonderful about that is that I can understand what's going on in this world having not seen those movies. Of course, I recommend that maybe you should if you want some backstory, some context, which I plan to do this year. I would like to watch the Rocky films. But I love that Ryan Coogler with the first Creed was able to kind of give us a story that separates those movies and gives us this own origin in a way because this is about Adonis Creed played by the amazing Michael B. Jordan. And then we have Creed II, directed by uh, Stephen Capel Jr., who does an awesome job as well, kind of continuing that narrative, kind of giving us more of a visual and a personal background. And then with Creed III, what's great about this is that this is the first film not only starring Michael B. Jordan, but to be directed by him. This is his first movie as a director, and I think he nailed it. Now, I will say right off the bat that I think Creed III is not the best in the franchise, but what I want to say to that also is that I think each Creed movie has something different about them that is so wonderful. I think the first Creed has this real passion to kind of bring back that boxing spirit. Ryan Coogler is responsible for that. I think Stephen Cable Jr. really put Creed II in a position to kind of make it a little bit more, you know, fun and daring and also bring back some characters from the previous Rocky movies. Again, I've not seen, but I know Dolph Lundgren makes a return. And I thought it was fun to see him, despite not having seen what he did in the previous movies. And there's a lot of fun to be found in Creed II. What I like about Creed III, and the thing I want to point out the most, is that Michael B. Jordan took kind of his own personal perspective, you know, about that people go through issues, people go through problems. There is a lot going on for Adonis Creed in this movie. We see a lot of his mental health struggles and we're able to navigate and explore a little bit of that, which has not been found in one of these movies. So I'm very grateful that Michael B. Jordan was like, you know what, I'm gonna take kind of that mental health side, let the audience see that he goes through things too because he's a human being. And I'm gonna show that for everybody. So in this movie, we see that Adonis Creed is kind of retired from the boxing world. Not so much retired in the sense that he doesn't assist, but he's not boxing himself. He still works, you know, at a gym and he is able to kind of, you know, shape people up for matches and things like that. But he's kind of taken a step back from the own ring himself. But what's wonderful about this movie is that we're able to see, like I said, those layers. We dial back. We kind of see just kind of the personal struggle that he went through as a child. And in addition to that, we get a wonderful performance by Jonathan Majors, who plays an old childhood friend of his who kind of comes back into his life like 20 years later. And we're able to see kind of like how they react off one another and just what that friendship looks like versus then versus now. And of course, it gets heated because the point of this movie is that we see Adonis and Damien, played by Jonathan Majors, come, you know, face to face in the ring and fight each other, you know, just kind of see exactly where one another stands. And I think they did that brilliantly. I thought the scenes and the sequences were shot so wonderfully. The cinematography is great. I know Michael B. Jordan has been very vocal that he really likes anime. I'm not too familiar with anime. I'm, of course, aware of what it is, but I don't watch it enough to know like how key points or look like scenes and looks of uh, anime look. But what's wonderful about this movie is that there were moments where I could tell that's where he drew the inspiration from. I really like that he incorporated that in there because it really made a big difference in the film. And I think Michael B. Jordan is an exceptional actor. I think he is a wonderful first time director and I can't wait to see what else he does. I think Creed III, while it's not my favorite of the three Creed movies, is still a very special film. And there's a lot to really credit here. So Creed's one through three are all wonderful for different reasons. I think they kind of go in the order that they're supposed to. I really loved Creed one. I think Creed two is a really special continuation. And I think Creed three, well, again, like I said, not my favorite of the three, I still think does a wonderful job kind of like ringing the story through and giving us something really unique and different. So it goes right in the order that it's supposed to follow. Michael B. Jordan, hats off to you. You directed, you acted. Tessa Thompson, love you. Jonathan Majors, everybody that's in this movie just brings their A game. And it's one of those movies that I think if you haven't watched, please watch from Creed to Creed 2 to Creed 3. Again, I can't comment on the Rocky movies because I've never seen them, but I do plan on watching them sometime this year. But all very good. Creed 3 is definitely, excuse me, Creed 3 is definitely worth uh, your time and I'm recommending it wholeheartedly. Loved it, had a good time, check it out if you haven't. And if you have seen it, let me know your thoughts down below because I'd love to discuss what you thought about the movie too.